Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current everyday winter glam. If you have more drier skin like me, of course you can't do the same foundation routine that you do in the summer in the winter, you know? So in part, this is like a requested video, but also inspired by Alyssa Ashley. I was watching her video the other day. She was talking about her tips and tricks for how she does her makeup in the winter. And I was like, you know what? I should definitely sit down with you guys and show you my little tips of how I do my makeup in the winter as well. So, shout out to you guys and shout out to Alyssa Ashley for the idea of today's video. And also, a lot of you guys have been requesting, you know, a more chiller, everyday makeup look. So I thought I can, you know, cover all of those topics in one video today. So yeah, let's get into this video. So my number one tip to my dry skin friends, if you want your foundation to look super hydrating and skin-like and dewy in the winter, go in with an oil. That's just my opinion. So the first thing we're gonna go in with today is a little bit of skincare, and this is by Pharmacy. This is their Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil, and guys, this right here is life-changing for me. It's pretty much the only moisturizer I use underneath my foundation and everything during the winter time because it really lasts a long time. It gives you a really beautiful glow, your foundation blends in to be like skin and it gives you like a very nice dewy finish Which I prefer because when you go out throughout the day your skin is gonna be you know Very dry and everything because of the cold winds and this helps keep my makeup very hydrated and dewy So I love love this product So I just take like one and a half drops of the oil because it is very thick guys You don't want to be using too much because it literally is more than enough for your whole entire face most of the time what I normally do is I like to give it time to seep into my skin so I apply it on my face before I go ahead and do my eyebrows and everything just because by the time I'm done my brows and I want to go into shadows or foundation it's already seeped really nicely into my skin and then my skin is just plumped and hydrated and prepped and ready for my foundation if that makes sense so I would definitely give your skincare products some time to work you know what I mean so now it's time to go in with primer now when it comes to winter I literally go in either with my Fenty Pro Filter Hydrate primer or I go in with my Too Faced hangover primer. It just depends how I feel that day and I had to learn that not all products complement each other, you know what I mean? Like my face oil from pharmacy does not really work well with my Too Faced primer so or my milk makeup primer. I've learned that the hard way so the only primer that I own that works really well with my oil technique is my Fenty one so that's why I'm gonna be going in with that today. So I'm gonna take like two pumps of that because that's more than enough for my entire face. And now for my next step, I'm gonna go in with some highlight. And I know that is weird and random. I normally never do that, but I'm gonna go in with a cream highlight right underneath my foundation because I feel like it helps create such a beautiful, healthy glow. And then when I go in with my powder highlight over it, I don't have to use as much highlighter because we have this underneath. So I just go ahead and just add the smallest amount and that helps bring that highlight effect to life without it being too cakey on the skin and too much product sitting on our skin. This is a hack that I learned from Jackie Ina actually. She always recommends that if you're gonna go in with a cream highlight, go in with it underneath your foundation first. And the reason why she recommended that you use it underneath your foundation is that when you put a stick highlight over a foundation and you take your photos, you can see this weird lines on the sides of your face. Like it never really truly blends in over the foundation. So that's why she suggests going in with it first, then foundation, and then a little powder highlight to set it in place. And the highlight I'm gonna be taking today is by ColourPop and this is their Bullseye Lipstick Highlight and I love this shade. It's such a beautiful golden shade and it complements my skin really well. So I'm gonna be going in with some of that on my nose and then pretty much like everywhere where I highlight. So on my nose, on my cheeks, and then I'm just gonna take my ColourPop F11 brush and just start to blend it in. And now for foundation, I'm gonna be going in with my Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. And I'm in the shade Nude 7.5. I love using this foundation, guys. It's a very lightweight, natural looking foundation. And these are the type of foundations I like to cling towards during the winter time because I don't like to layer a lot of thick product on my skin during the winter because that intensifies my texture, that intensifies the dryness in my skin, which I'm trying to avoid. So I recommend going in with a 
little bit of a more sheer lightweight foundation but if you do have anything that you're trying to cover up like acne scars or hyperpigmentation just go ahead and spot correct with a concealer that matches your skin tone on those areas so that you can have a little more coverage and then on the rest of your face you can go in with a more lightweight foundation to balance it out so that your whole entire face isn't intensely caked up if that makes sense so I'm gonna be going in with some of that and I'm actually gonna take it with the nude sticks brush and this is their blend and buff brush I love how this brush blends out the foundation so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that Now you can kind of see that highlight underneath. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can see that like glow coming through on the foundation. And I think it's just so beautiful because once we set it with our powder highlight, it's gonna look so bomb. And I just love this foundation. Like, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you have dry skin, I'm telling you, don't sleep on this foundation because it's actually such a beautiful, beautiful formula. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cover my dark circles. And you guys already know, I'm gonna be going in with my Too Faced Born This way concealer now since this is an everyday glam I'm gonna be going in with not as much as I normally do I'm just gonna take it straight right underneath my eyes I'm not gonna bring it all the way down like I normally do just because I just want to literally cover my dark circles and that's it then with some of the access that's on my sponge, I'm gonna take that on the side of my nose just to give that little area a little more coverage. That is where my foundation tends to separate first. So I just go in with a small amount there. And now to set my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown Retouching Loose Powder in the shade Yellow. This has become life-changing for me for my under eyes because I normally use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, but lately I feel like, I don't know, maybe if my skin is more dehydrated, I'm not sure what it is. It's been causing my under eye to be a little bit more drier. So I'm gonna be going in with this powder. I've been loving it lately because no matter how dry my skin is, it never puts my texture on blast, okay? So I'm gonna be going in with some of that. Now I know you guys are probably watching this like, um, sis, <laughs> where is your eye makeup? Because I normally always do my eye makeup before I go into my foundation and everything. But since this is my everyday realistic AF type of a makeup look, I just go in with the smallest amount of bronzer on my eyes just to help create some color there and some definition to my eyelid. I don't go all out with like an intense glam on an everyday vibe, you know what I mean? So I'm actually gonna be going in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty. So I just go in with the smallest amount just right into the crease of my eyelid. I want a little bit of color on my lid, but for it to be simple and natural, I go in with my Jackie Ina palette. So I'm only gonna be taking this shade right here and it's called Ginger. And as you can see, it's a very chill brown shade. I feel like it's so beautiful though. So I go in with that. I just start to pack it in. And then I just go back in with the same brush that I used for my bronzer just to blend everything nicely together so that I don't have any harsh lines between the two shades and as you guys can see it just adds such a nice beautiful warmth to the eyes without doing too much in my opinion and yeah that's pretty much all i do for my eyes guys super simple so now i'm gonna go back in with the fenty bronzer and just start to bronze up my cheeks and my forehead and as well as my nose And then now I'm gonna go in with some blush and this is a cover FX of course, their monochromatic blush duo. And this is in the shade Spiced Cinnamon. I'm trying a different shade, guys, instead of Warm Honey. The past few days, I've been really loving this shade. It's really pretty. And for a look like this, you guys see how we're just all brown? I feel like we need that little bit of blush to add some color in there, you know what I mean? 
yeah, I feel like that helps add a little color in there, but it's not too much. I like to be very light-handed with my blush because I don't like to do the most and I don't want to have crazy pink cheeks. And especially with this blush, guys, you got to be careful because it's super pigmented. So you don't want to pick up a lot because your whole cheek is going to be intensely pink. And for today's highlight, I'm going to be going in with my Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in the shade Moon Glow. It's such a beautiful golden shade. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of that. And then what I do is I just go back in with my bronzer brush and with whatever's left on the brush, I just go ahead and blend out my highlight so I don't have any harsh lines between my highlight and my bronzer. And now to set my face, I'm gonna be going back in with my double setting spray trick my mac prep and prime setting spray it gets rid of all the powderiness but it doesn't lock your foundation in place is what i've noticed so i go in with my Too faced hangover setting spray because this is a really good setting spray for drier skin it has coconut water infused in it and it really does help hydrate but also lock your makeup in so i always go in with this too when it's the winter time because i feel like using the two helps in a major way to keep my foundation looking so flawless and dewy all day long and as well as it just really helps every everything blend into my skin very beautifully so you don't even look cakey you know what I mean so this is a hack guys I know it might seem like much but I'm telling you guys this is the key and yes I do drench my face in each and then you guys will see the final result because your skin will be glowing for days and it will look so airbrushed and smooth so don't knock it until you try them so first I'm gonna be going in with my Mac prep and prime setting spray and this is the original guys it's not scented and I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face and then I go in with my Too Faced. And then what do I do is I just go in with a piece of paper. This is normally just comes with like PR. So I just go ahead with one of those papers and just fan out the setting spray because I really don't have like the patience to wait for it to dry on its own. So this just helps, you know, speed up the process. Now, do you guys see what I'm talking about? Look at the glow. Look at our skin. Oh my gosh, guys, I love doing these steps. We don't even look like we're wearing a lot of product, like cakey wear, foundation wear, you know what I mean? Everything just blended in so flawlessly. So now I'm gonna go ahead with some mascara and I'm gonna use the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. So I'm gonna let my mascara dry before I go ahead and plop on my lashes. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go in with some lip products and this is ColourPop's Lip Crayon in the shade Cherry Pickin'. You guys have seen me use this so many times because I just feel like it's the most beautiful lip color, especially for every day. It's super hydrating, does not dry out your lips at all, but at the same time, it's really pigmented. I love using these lip crayons in the winter or a lip gloss. So I'm just gonna go in with some of this. I love how this looks, but I think I'm gonna actually mix a little bit of my Kaja Beauty Lipstick and Lip Liner Duo just on the outer corners just to, you know, make it a little more brownie nude. I feel like that looks a lot better. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, so I just went ahead and plopped on some lashes, and these are by Lily Lashes. They're in the style Miami, and I love these lashes. I know these might be much for some of you guys for an everyday, but you can always go ahead for a more chiller lash if you like. I personally prefer a more wispy, thicker lash like this on days that I do a very relaxed glam because I feel like it adds like an extra oomph to it. You know what I mean? I mean, if we already went this far, some good lashes is not that much of an extra step. You know what I mean? Because we already done did everything else. We might as well just put on some popping lashes. So that's how I feel about it. And yeah, guys, this is my everyday winter makeup routine. I love how my skin looks. It does not look cakey and dry at all. It looks super hydrated, super dewy. And I just love how this makeup look can go with any outfit that I have on. And that's why it's become my main go-to. So yeah, this is the look. Let me know what you guys think in the the comment section below. I hope you guys found my tips and tricks helpful for drier skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join the family. We are on the road to 5k and I believe we can get there. So make sure you guys subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me if you did. And also make sure you turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And like always, I'll see you guys in my next video.